Hey designers, in this tutorial we are going to create a motion graphics animation. It's going to be a very beginners friendly tutorial, so let's get started. I've taken a new composition, 1080 by 1080. Now the first step is to import the flavors and the smoothie. So right click here, go to import, file. These are all the transparent PNGs that I have saved earlier. Let's select the first flavor which is Kiwi. Import it, drag and drop the smoothie on the document. We'll animate its scale and rotation. So press S for scale and Shift plus R for rotation. Rotate this cup a bit and adjust its position if required. Now click on the stopwatch next to scale and rotation. Move 20 frames forward. The shortcut key to moving 10 frames forward is Ctrl plus Shift plus right arrow key. I'm going to press it twice. Change the scale of this cup and give it a rotation. Now again, move 20 frames forward. Scale it up and change its rotation. Move 20 frames forward again, and let's rotate and scale it. Now again, move 20 frames forward. This would be the last frame. So the last frame will have the same keys as the first frame. Copy the first keys of scale and rotation by pressing Ctrl plus C to copy and Ctrl plus V to paste it here. Let's see the animation. We want it to have the stop motion effect. So select all the keyframes, right click, and select toggle hold keyframe. Now see the animation. Good, now it's time to drop the Kiwi here. So select Kiwi PNG and drop it onto the timeline. It is too big, so press S for scale and scale it down. Let's scale it down a bit more. Offset this Kiwi PNG to the second frame of this green smoothie. It will start from here at this point. So, select this Kiwi PNG and let's duplicate it. Duplicate it thrice by pressing Ctrl plus D on the keyboard. Now, adjust the position of the duplicated Kiwis. Select all of them. Press P for position. We are going to animate the position of these Kiwis. Click on the stopwatch next to position. Move 10 frames forward by pressing Ctrl plus Shift plus right arrow key. Add a blank keyframe here. Go back to the previous keyframe and make all the Kiwis come behind this cup. They are going to emerge from this point. Let's preview the animation. Now, move the bar indicator to the third keyframe of this green smoothie. At this point, we will change the position of the kiwis. Move them. At every point when the cup is going to be scaled up or scaled down, the kiwis will also change position. Now move to the next keyframe and change the position of them. Now move to the next keyframe and change the position of them. We just want it to first emerge from the cup and then the animation would be stop motion. So select all the keyframes, leaving only the first keyframes. 
Right-click and select Toggle Hold Keyframe. Preview the animation. Now create a new solid here. Go to Layer, New Solid, and choose Colors. Put this solid layer below all the other layers. Now go to Effects and Presets and search for Drop Shadow. Select all the layers, the smoothie and the kiwi layers. Double click on drop shadow to apply it to them. Now let's individually adjust the drop shadow. First of all, select the green smoothie PNG only and adjust the distance and softness of the drop shadow. Select all the kiwis and adjust the distance and the softness of the drop shadow. Preview the animation. Let's scale up the kiwis a bit. So select all the kiwis, press S for scale, and scale them up. Let's add text now. So take the text tool and I will paste the text here, fresh fruit smoothie. Adjust the font and the size of the font if required. Now with this text layer selected, take the ellipse tool and draw a circle here. Initially, this circle acts like a mask. Go to the text properties, then path options. In the path, change it from none to mask one. If you want to reverse the path, turn the reverse path on. Now we will copy this text and paste it all over the circle to fill the circle with this text. I'm giving a space, then writing a dot then a space, and then pasting this fresh fruit smoothie text. Now, to animate it, click on the stopwatch near to first margin, and then move the bar indicator to the point where this animation ends. Select the green smoothie PNG, press U to see its keyframes, and closer to 3 seconds, this animation is ending. So, put the bar indicator at that point where the last keyframe of this green smoothie is. Increase the first margin value, it is going to give it a rotation. Let's see the animation. Move this text layer below all the other layers and above the background layer. Press S for scale and scale it down a bit. Align it onto the composition. Go to characters and stretch this text to make it taller. Press T for opacity and decrease the opacity of this text layer. Adjust the text scale. Now, we will make a duplicate of this text by pressing Ctrl plus D on the keyboard, get size smaller. Align it onto the composition.
Now duplicate it again and make its size smaller. Let's make another duplicate and make the size larger than the original text layer. So press Ctrl plus D to duplicate it and scale it up. Select the green smoothie layer and press U to see its keyframes. Put the bar indicator at the last keyframe. This is where we know that the animation of the smoothie is going to end. So let's add a marker here for the other flavors to know how long it should be. After that, select all the text layers and pre-compose them by pressing Ctrl plus Shift plus C on your keyboard and name this pre-composed layer text. Preview the animation. Move the bar indicator to the marker. Go to the last keyframe of this green smoothie, and at this point, we want all the kiwis to go back to where they came from behind the glass. Move all the kiwis back behind the glass at that point. Preview the animation now. At the last point, the kiwis should disappear. Now, select all the layers other than the text pre-composed layer and background solid layer, and pre-compose them by pressing Ctrl plus Shift plus C on the keyboard. Name it Kiwi. In the project panel, duplicate this Kiwi pre-composed layer by pressing Ctrl plus D on the keyboard. Rename it to Plum because this is the second flavor. Drag and drop it onto the timeline. Offset this plum pre-composed layer to the marker we made earlier. Move the bar indicator to the marker and precisely position this plum layer at that point. Select the kiwi layer and trim it from the end at this point by pressing Alt plus right square bracket. Trim it. Now, double click on this plum layer to open it. We will replace all the kiwi flavors with plum flavors. First, import the plum flavors, the red smoothie and the plum. Import them. Select the green smoothie in the timeline, and in the project panel, select the red smoothie. By pressing the Alt key on the keyboard, drag and drop it onto the green smoothie to replace it. Similarly, select the Kiwi PNG. In the project panel, select the plum PNG. By pressing the Alt key on the keyboard, Drag and drop it onto the kiwi to replace it. Repeat this for the other kiwis, replacing them with plums. Once done, go back to the main composition and preview the animation. We will change the colors of the background later, so do not worry about it. In the project panel, duplicate this plum pre-composed layer. Rename it to Fig. Drag and drop this Fig pre-composed layer onto the timeline. Offset it to the marker, and trim the Plum pre-composed layer at this point by pressing Alt plus right square bracket. Do it precisely. Then double click on this Fig pre-composed layer to open it. First of all, import the Fig flavors. The brown smoothie and the fig. Import them, and replace the red smoothie with the brown one by pressing Alt and dropping it onto the red smoothie. Similarly, replace all the plums with the figs. Go back to the main composition and preview the animation. Good. At this point, the animation will end, so let's trim our workspace here. Now it's time to change the solid color. 
First, go to the first marker and go to Effects and Presets, and search for Fill. Drag and drop this fill onto the solid layer. Click on the stopwatch next to Colors, and press U to see the keyframes. Now go back to the first frame and change the color to this kiwi mustard color. Now, move the bar indicator closer to the second frame, copy this first frame by pressing Ctrl plus C on the keyboard, and paste this key here as well by pressing Ctrl plus V on the keyboard. Next, select this and go to the second frame, and change this red color to the plum color. OK. Then, move the bar indicator to the second marker. Here, add a blank keyframe. Move two frames backwards. Add a blank keyframe here. Go to the next frame and change the color to this brownish shade for the fig flavor. Now, preview the animation. The text animation has stopped at this point because we had only made it rotate till the first flavor of kiwi. To continue animating it, double click on this pre-composed text layer to open its properties. Move the bar indicator near to the 10 second frame because this is where our animation ends. First, remove this second keyframe. And at this point, set the value to 400 or 450, depending on how fast you want the circle to move. Then, come back and preview the animation. Your animation is done. If you found this video helpful, like it, comment on it, and subscribe to Ace Designs.